All right, you know I had to talk about Zach Wilson, who had, in my opinion, his best game uh, of his rookie, you know, season, so of his career so far. Uh, maybe the Titans game was better. You could argue either one, because the Titans game, he was incredible in that one as well. But to me, what he did well in this one was he ran the offense as well as I've seen him run an offense so far. And that's what you're hoping for, is we know Zach Wilson can do the stuff he did in the Titans game, but if you can't run an offense, then you'll never, you'll never get those opportunities. Well, now he's starting to learn how to run an offense, which means he will eventually get those opportunities. However, I want to start off with some negatives. You know what? Let's go there, and then we'll get into the, listen, there were plenty of positives. So, uh, first, let's start off with a negative, and this is, the, you know, it's a small thing, but it can be a big thing. This is an understandable rookie mistake, but still a mistake. So, it's going to be a disguise from Tampa Bay. It's a cover two zone, but they're disguising. Uh, they're going to have a defensive end drop back into coverage here. So, the route that Wilson likes, you're going to understand why he likes it. Look, right when this play begins, he looks up and sees, oh, hey, this appears to be open. I, I just think he never saw the defensive end dropping back into coverage, which, again, that's kind of understandable. That is what I would consider a rookie mistake. Like, rookies do make that mistake. So, I get it, but still, uh, not what you would have, uh, you know, not ideal, right? So, okay, there were a couple of those. Like, this play wasn't great either. I mean, again, just one of these, like, missing an easy throw, although that might have been a timing thing more than anything. But still, there still were those couple of negatives that he still needs to clean up. I, I want to start off with that. And even, you know, I made a whole video talking about the uh, the fourth down and two thing, which I think was actually his fault. Uh, watch that video. It, you, you'll understand why, because I think he made the wrong read on that. But there was just so much good that I, I it just so much, uh, you know, the, the good outweighed the bad heavily in this one. Like something like this. You want to talk about running an offense. I mean, this is stuff that's, okay, is this the hardest to get difficulty stuff? No, it's a cover three zone blitz. You have a receiver running over the middle. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that you want your star quarterback to do. But it's also the stuff that he was struggling with early on in the season. And he's just getting way better at it. Like watch how right when this play begins. So he takes a snap. His actual first read was over to the left, but he gets off of that read gets to his right where he now, and, and maybe he was just using his eyes and he was always going to get back here, but what you see is that there is a way that this play can work. Tampa Bay's corner, lined up on the top of the screen, is playing too far off now at this point, so if you hit him, you're good. The issue, of course, is there's two Tampa Bay players over the middle, who I've circled in black, that if you know Wilson throws this ball right now, it's going to be intercepted. So he has to time it perfectly. This is, you know, this isn't kind of a, a veteran type play a little bit. These are the kind of plays that you have to have a little bit of experience to really get down. And this play is just absolutely perfect. That's a perfect throw. You could not ask for anything better than that. And this isn't even really close to his biggest highlight, but we saw just a good chunk of these types of plays. We really did. And, and that's what's exciting, I think, if you're a Jets fan. Like something like this was another one of a similar example. It's going to be quarters coverage. You have a receiver who's running over the middle, going to get into a gap in coverage. So again, it's very similar similar to that last play. Watch how right when this play begins, you see, okay, there is once again a gap. So again, you see where I'm going with this. And I also feel like I should mention, I don't really know why Tampa Bay played so much zone coverage, but I have a theory is that, you know, Tampa Bay, they do like to play a lot of man, although they played a lot of zone this year as well. They, they just mix it up a lot. And I think a big reason why they played so much zone against Wilson is because they saw what Wilson did to Jacksonville of running the ball all the time, and they didn't want to play man where five guys are turning their back towards the quarterback. So if Wilson can get in that, hey, we don't want to play man against him because he can move, well, that's a great situation because then you can, you know, really the floor offense wants you to play zone. Wilson makes, again, a great throw. You see that arm strength too. I mean, arm strength matters. Uh, you know, people kind of like to say, ah, you know, accuracy, that's what really matters. And it does, of course. But you got to have arm strength, too, if you're going to make it as a, you know, a top quarterback in the NFL, which you don't draft a guy second overall, hoping he's not going to be a top five, you know, or just a top quarterback in the NFL. And so being able to do that and really arm strength over the middle tends to be the uh, real way it comes into effect there. This one was just an absurd throw. Like he had some legit uh, again, I'm going to make the comparison again. All right, sue me. He had some Aaron Rodgers type plays. He did. Okay. And I don't, I don't even mean Aaron Rodgers type plays as in scrambling outside the pocket and throwing off balance. I just mean like just accurate throws. Like, I mean, you know, 20, 22 Aaron Rodgers type plays. Because what's going to happen here is you see the route he wants to throw to uh, with Brax and Berrios. And this angle might not be the best way to show up, but I wanted to show both angles. But I mean, watch how he's going to, you know, run to play action. Doesn't even really get his feet planted all the way and still just makes an absurd 
throw. I mean, I'm going to show the other angle because that gives you kind of a better look at it. Uh, and I mean, that's just that's just an absurd throw. Uh, that there's no other way to say it. That's just an incredibly impressive play. And this is why you draft Zach Wilson second overall. You'll deal with the growing pains. You'll deal with him maybe not being a totally polished quarterback right away because if he can get more polished. You're going to get stuff like this, and you're going to get stuff like this consistently. Also, something like this. Again, this is just one of those, like, this is one of the better throws you're going to see all year, quite frankly. This is why I think Zach Wilson is really good. Uh, it's going to be a cover three zone, and you have multiple receivers who are running over the middle. Really, the read is typically the first receiver is going to take away the safety, so the second receiver is the one you want to throw to. Right when this play begins, you see Zach Wilson, who at this point, there's a window where he can make this throw. It is a very small window. You have to get it over the linebacker who's going to be leaping up to try and make the play on this one. You also have to make sure you don't overthrow it because that could result in an interception. I mean, this has to be a good throw. On top of all of this, you want to get it there quickly because the longer it takes, the smaller the window is going to be. So you want to show off the arm strength that I keep talking about. And look at this just absolute bullet. I mean, that's why I like Zach Wilson so much. And this is why, you know, Kyle and I on the podcast have kind of argued over who would you rather have uh, as of right now? Would you rather have Mac Jones or Zach Wilson? Mac Jones clearly the higher floor, but Wilson clearly the higher ceiling. And my argument has been Wilson because Mac Jones doesn't make that throw. You know, I don't think Trevor Lawrence makes that throw. Like Zach Wilson is one of the few guys who makes these types of throws. So that's just why I keep gushing over him and why I think he's just so good. Like something like this, another one, just, just a good throw. This one not as impressive as the other one, but still very accurate. Gets the ball there quickly. Barrios makes a great play for the touchdown, but Wilson allowed it to happen as well. So, uh, you know, really good stuff from Zach Wilson. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, this means he's a star. Like, no, it's one game. Uh, you can't overreact to one game. I said that after, you know, his, what, 10 bad games this season. I said, I'm not going to overreact to that. Won't overreact to his two good games, or really, you know, two very good games, I would say, uh, for a rookie. But it's certainly cool to see. So, yeah, I mean, listen, uh, it was just a, a great game from Zach Wilson as a whole. This is what you're hoping for. Again, maybe I'm uh, overhyping it a little bit because I, sh I should be clear. Like, it wasn't like he was, you know, I don't know, uh, Patrick Mahomes out there in one of his, you know, 600-yard, 17-touchdown performances, how it feels like he has some of those every year. But he Wilson was very good, and Wilson ran an offense as well as I've seen him run an offense. And that's what we're hoping for from Wilson. You run the offense, and then eventually you'll start getting some of those Tennessee Titans-type plays where he's rolling outside, chucking the ball deep, and getting yards that way. So if he can continue to play this well, I mean, uh, I would feel very optimistic if I'm a Jets fan uh, about this performance and about how he's played these past few weeks in general. I think you're, you're starting to see why people like me were so high on Zach Wilson coming out of the draft. Uh, at least I hope you are. Uh, and we'll see what he does. Again, no victory lap from me. I'm not saying that well, this is it. He's great. Uh, this is proof because no, like there's still so much we have to see. It, it still is a small sample size of Wilson. Uh, so I, I want to see more before I'm willing to crown him. But at least it's a sign of optimism heading into year two. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.